Hello guys and welcome to another episode. Well, this is going to be my Halloween special because it's mid-October. It's pretty windy, the water has cooled down. We are after a cold front. So it's time to answer the age-old question. Will fish take a jack-o'-lantern fly? Let's find out. So, here it is. Let's give it a try. I saw some chubs hanging out over there on the far bank. Wonder if they like pumpkin spice. And it has transitioned into a wet fly. <laughs> Just one fish and the challenge will be completed. I wonder how I should fish this fly. I guess we will have to time our casts and have to be really precise dropping it in front of their mouth. Because I didn't see any jack-o'-lanterns hatching. At least it's visible <laughs> from a distance. So we don't have trout in this river, nor grayling. Only surface feeding fish here are the chubs bleaks and the asps which i caught on last session you can check out my last video this fly is tied of marabou feathers and hairs dubbing the stem is green marabou feather the base is orange marabou feathers and the dubbing is orange hairs dubbing so it started to sink i don't see the chubs i saw when i came down here just a small chub, just a small chub would be enough. Let's try a really long cast. There was a chub checking it out. I think we will have to... Oh, <laughs> did you see that? <sighs> okay, they like it. Please come back. That was a nice fish. I wasn't prepared for a bite, but this is good news. We have a chance of landing a fish. Wonder if the chub will come back, because I didn't hook it. So there's a chance. There's a small one. Closer. Uh, he got scared. Maybe we will check that part. But I don't want to risk losing this fly, because I did tie another, but it didn't turn out this great. Yes, something checked it out. Ah, come on. It could have been a snag. I'm gonna check out these sunnier spots. Come on, come on, come on, come on, take it, dude. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, ah. Yep. Ah. Pulled it out from its mouth. Ah. We will come back here before sunset. Well, my first idea didn't work. Turns out autumn chub are pretty hard to get to bite on a pumpkin. That's the scary part, fitting for Halloween. I'm scared of blank fishing days. Our fly is looking pretty sad right now. It very quickly transitioned into a wet fly, then into a nymph. Let's do some side fishing. Okay, so I scared the chubs. <laughs> I see a small one over there. Oh. 
are there any bigger ones? Yeah, there were bigger ones. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at the other side. Wow, there was a huge fish over there. <sighs> Did you see that? That could have been the one. Oh no, 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 no. I got it back. Oh no 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 It broke off Oh no 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 I can't find it Always check your six forks Don't be like me Now I have to go back to the car Because I did tie another one I'm still searching for it That's some precious sunlight wasted So Let's run back to the car. The jack o' lantern is back on. Okay, this is our hatching. <laughs> Did you see that? Ah, uh, I had a looker. No. Oh, come on, come on, that's annoying, why do they all come off? That was a pretty good sized chop too. I guess he's not coming back. I hooked him. Well, I just lost that other one too. So guys, that's it for today. It's getting dark and I can't even see the end of the fishing line. We were this close, we were this close to landing the fish on the jack-o'-lantern but to answer the question if fish will take a jack-o'-lantern fly well no but actually yes I had quite a few bites so it it was we were this close to success but still thank you for watching my Halloween special and if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching bye bye